I am beyond pissed off. I got scammed out of $4,356.42. And that's in fake gold and silver. I wanted to make this educational video to teach people how realistic this stuff is and that it is real out there. This happens all the time and hopefully I can save someone else from getting scammed. I already punched two holes in my wall and broke my pinky finger and that's just to say for now, who knows what else I'll break. No, I'm just kidding everyone. Um, but, but I did purchase $4,356.42 worth of gold and silver or that's how much it would be worth if the gold and silver was real. I did not pay that much, but if this stuff was real, it would be worth that much. Now, not this entire stack is fake. Half of it's fake and half of it's real. So let's play a little game, real or fake. I'm going to go through each one of these gold and silver coins and bars, and I want you to guess, is it real or fake? Because honestly, I've been stacking silver since 2014, and if I didn't know that it was fake, I easily could have acknowledged that this is probably real unless I weighed it or looked really deep into it. But if I'm just buying from somewhere, it could, it could you know, fly past the radar very easily. And that's the scary part, especially imagine if you're a beginner, you don't really know too much and you don't know what to look for. I'm sure a lot of you do have fake gold and silver in your stacks, unfortunately. And I'm gonna share how to avoid it, um, some steps to take, and hopefully this is a very educational video. Please like this video and share it so other people know that <laughs> fake gold and silver is everywhere, especially on eBay and some of these other sites that I will share. I actually do have another gold bar. Yes, it's fake coming. I've been waiting for a week or so, and that's why I pushed this video off. But I really just want to get down to the nitty gritty because uh, I can't wait any longer. You know, every single day there's more people buy, uh, buying this stuff. Some of these sites still use words like commemorative or replica or something like that, which is very misleading because they'll replicate the actual mint or the actual, um, uh, you know, company that makes this, Silvertown. They'll even use a fake PCGS display case slab and have the coin graded and it's, it's BS. It's not safe. It would be okay if they um, if they actually you know brought that uh, to light that it's completely 100% fake on the listing. But they'll just use one little word probably so they don't get sued. And all these people even reading the comments to these orders think that they're buying real gold and silver. So let's jump into this. Let's play real or fake. Let's go in. Let, let's let's do this kookaburra first. This is a kookaburra. This is a kookaburra, one of the most popular coins. Uh, you know, it's from the Perth Mint. Perth Mint's one of the best mints. Great coin. One dollar. Welp. It is fake. This coin is fake. So let's bust it open. I want to see. I wish I had my scale on me because I'm curious how much this weighs. If you guys don't know, silver weighs 32 grams. It is a troy ounce, not an actual ounce of 28 grams. Since silver is such a dense metal, it's hard to nearly impossible to replicate one troy ounce. So if you want one quick way to know if your gold or silver is fake or not, just get a scale and weigh it. But look, look at the detail on this. This is a fake kookaburra. This is a fake kookaburra. This is fake. Look how good this is. If you are a newbie or someone, it looks just as good. It looks just as good. It's fake. It's going in the trash. Let's do another one. Let's do uh, this maple leaf. What do you think this maple leaf is, real or fake? Let me take it out. Uh, let me get it out of here. Real or fake? This is real. <laughs> okay, what about this? Ooh, let's do the saltwater crock. One of the most popular um, types of coins. I love this coin, the 2015 saltwater crock, three nines fine silver. Um, what do you think, real or fake? Let me take it out. 
so you can get a better view because in the capsule it kind of you can't really tell real or fake comment down below dang this is really in that capsule And by the way, I could show you guys how to use capsules. Um, here, let me do that real quick. This is important. So if you guys don't know, if you use capsules, there's two sides to the capsule. There's this side, and then there's this like ingrain side. What you do is if you use a capsule, you put it in the ingrain side, and then you put it in. If you use the wide side first, you'll mess it up. So always use the, the embedded side. Okay, but anyways, um, saltwater crock, it's fake. I'm not even going to try to open it. It's a fake coin. Throw it against the wall. Who cares? Okay, let's go with, um, let's go with this kangaroo. Let's go with this kangaroo. Real or fake? Surprisingly, this is fake. This looks like a real kangaroo. I mean, look at this graded kangaroo. This is also fake. Look at that. This looks exactly like a kangaroo that you buy. One of the most popular coins nowadays from Perth Mint. This is a fake coin. It's ridiculous. They even put the slab. They even use a fake slab. I mean, look at this. PCCB, professional coin display slab. Professional coin. And, you know, if you're a newbie and you don't know PCGS or NGC, you'll see, oh, it's PCC, you know, reminds you of NGC or whatever, which are actually, you know, graded like this new, um, this is real, the new 2021 Morgan Silver Dollar MS70 version, the first year they came back out since 1921 best one of the the most profitable uh profitable coins i'll probably be having in my collection for a while imagine what this coin will be worth in 10 20 years the first year they brought morgan's back since 1921 and i have an ms70 version that's if you're looking for coins to even flip i mean imagine in three years this coin will be triple the value um but anyways yeah let's focus on these real and fake coins and bars so this is fake I wish I could weigh it. Anyways, let's go on to the gold. Now, obviously, if you can tell by the case now, this is fake. But, I mean, look how, I mean, like, for some people, this stuff would stand out. But if you're a newbie, it wouldn't. And they could price this coin at $2,000. They could price this at $2,000. Now, where I bought it from, which was Wish.com, it wasn't $2,000. It was, like, I think like seven or eight i think like i think maybe 20 at most i don't remember um but what i could do is buy it from there and then resell it on ebay and hopefully someone who's new is gullible enough and i could even put it at like spot price or below spot spot price if someone thinks they're getting a really good deal especially since it's in the slab they'll never take it out of the slab to even find out so that's fake um this gold gram volcano bar is real <laughs> shout out to bully and max i actually sold a hundred of these at spot price to um to my uh to my audience so shout out to them that's real um this is another one of my new coins i got this is real this is a gem proof 2018 gilt um pretty cool if you guys don't know i love pandas this panda's real this is real this is my new my other new coin i got three new coins by the way these are the three new purchases I got. I probably could have got a boatload of generic silver, but I am also a coin collector and I can guarantee in 10 years, these coins will be worth probably the same amount, if not more, or not 10 years, I'd say in four years than what spot, uh, you know, spot silver is. Um, this is real. Um, this, yeah, I love one ounce bars. This is a one ounce Silvertown bar, real or fake. Has the classic Silvertown on it. This is fake. Look at this. This is fake. This is fake. And I think maybe that's why it was so hard to get that coin out of the capsule. They probably like glue these capsules and the coins in so you can't open it up or you just like don't try to open it up to see that it's fake. Like, because you can do the scratch test, the ping tests, and all that. So maybe they do that on purpose. They like purposely try to, uh, you know, seal it in here. So that's fake. Um, what else? 
Oh yeah, this stuff is real. So let's go back over. I'm gonna take, I just wanted to also, also show you some of my new purchases, but let's, I'm gonna put all the fake stuff back on the table so you can see how dangerous this is. And if you haven't liked the video by now, please like the video. People need to see, people need to see this stuff. And I also have, and I said $4,356.42 because I also do have another gold bar, an actual gold bar on the way. Am I missing something? Um, well, I did throw some stuff. Oops. Um, I think I'm missing, I think I'm missing something, but I, I threw some of this stuff. I don't know. But regardless, um, I also have a gold bar that's on the way. I was waiting for that to come for me to make this video, but it, who knows? It's wish.com. It could take forever. Now, this type of stuff isn't just on Wish. Wish is where you can get this stuff cheap. They'll use words like replica, commemorative, um, a couple other words that you just think it's replicating the silver town bar but it's still real see that's the that's the scary part or like commemorative and then they'll they'll have like an eagle on there so you, you think that they're just making like an off-brand anniversary type which private mints do all the time but it's still real silver they don't say it's fake gold and silver the only word that gives it away is replica or commemorative so you think that it's a replica coin of the real coin but it's still real like this saltwater crock it just looks like it's a commemorative or replica version of the actual government minted saltwater crock from perth mint but it's actually right a private mint it's which is the way they're selling it a private mint making a replica of the government backed mint, but it's not. It's completely fake. I mean, look at this. For you, for some of you stackers, it might look obvious, but they even try to put mint marks and stuff. It's it's so dangerous. It's disgusting. And I I had to make this video. I purposely bought all this stuff to make this type of video. I've made videos on Wish.com and showing fake silver on eBay, but. Wouldn't it just be so much better to show you guys in person what the fake gold and silver looks like instead of just saying, you know, don't buy, don't, don't go on here. Now I can show you, it actually looks like what the picture, you know, depicts. Very realistic. I mean, for this to be fake is very dangerous. I mean, look at that. That is fake. And imagine someone who is willing to, instead of sell this coin for like $4, sell it for 40 or sell this for 2000 so anyways yeah guys please like the video please um comment down below what you think about this i really need this video to get out there that's why i titled it i got scammed um so more people click on the video but i did you know within the first 10 seconds say i was kidding um you know a little bit of clickbait but hey if i'm getting if if someone watches this that can learn something from it and hopefully not get scammed. I don't care if, you know, it was a little misleading in the first 10 seconds. Uh, so yeah, and it wasn't really misleading. I mean, it really was $4,356.42 worth of gold and silver. This should have been here if it was real. So yeah, I'm gonna wrap this video up here. Um, please like the video, please subscribe. If you guys don't know, I post daily videos. I usually don't post videos like this, but I do a lot of unboxings. You know, I do a lot of unboxings showing my actual silver i've never made a video like this before but i thought it was pretty clever to do and pretty educational um i do a lot of unboxings i do a lot of stacking strategies i do a lot of market update um stuff i do giveaways i do it all i'll be doing another another giveaway soon as well thanks for tuning in this is silver slayer i'll see you guys soon peace